And, you know, I think Babe just actually needs us to stop a core breach as well, which is kind of important. I have to concede that for once she and I are in agreement. If that core is in fact going steadily more radioactive and splody at any given moment, then Babe is actually saying a sensible thing for once. Well, even broken clocks get right twice a day. All right, let's quickly tank the oxygen. Home, yay. And with that done, back on the bike, take a quick look at this warning label, which is, of course, in Russian. What a surprise. And then our next objective is going to be... Uh, you know what, we'll check out some of these markers. There's a nice right, little tight cluster over here. Oh, right. So, why was there an old space station out here? If this... Or were they just recycling everything to build the liner? It wouldn't surprise me, after Multiple all, this is breath edge. Detected. There may be some breakdowns of the work of complex equipment in this area, therefore the breath edge company assumes no responsibility for the behavior and performance of the funerary spacesuit, although I doubt I may have any problems. Pores. This debris clearly doesn't belong to the liner, as it is made with outdated technologies. If you look at the spaceship's debris in the distance, we can assume that the liner didn't just explode, but it initially crashed into an unknown spherical structure, the debris of which we can see now. Huh. Okay, so... Was the bomb just a rather awkward coincidence? Interesting. Also, comrade, make the contribution to our safety wall. And doubtless the capitalists will be the ones paying for it. There we go. Examine wall. They started building a wall on the outer frontiers of the galaxy long ago, consists with possible alien intrusion that would be... Oh. Yeah, someone's having a dig. Oh, what's this? 7351-2-8 TAC. The grandiose construction has huh. not yet been completed due to serious financial and ethical problems, or perhaps because of its complete uselessness. Yep. The invaders will always find a way through. Strictly speaking, the Great Wall of China, of course, was not so much for keeping people out as it was to slow them down enough to... Oh, 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 not that way. Not that way. That is definitely a bad way to go back through these spinny turbine blades, which actually will not dice me if I should happen to collide with them. And onwards to our little cluster of exploration markers, which I noticed earlier which happened to be right next to the arcing electricity and various other implied bad stuff. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder oh, how yay. So quickly. Is it because of my hints? Well, hopefully it comes with a uh, oxygen supply. Hopefully. If not, well, I've got candles. Not the birthday kind either. Right. Open one. Open two. Oxygen. Huzzah. And it's got a processor as well. It also has... yeah. Chicken! Hmm. A comb. Such an amateur device can make your hair look super voluminous and you would look gorgeous upon your deathbed. Some people have some very odd priorities. The disaster probably killed the owner before they completed their pursuit of fashion. Yes. Extra crispy as well. I don't think that's going to constitute a reasonable hairstyle anytime soon. Luckily, there is a processor here, so that's worth knowing. We have refined metal. What do I need to make an inductor? Since I'm out here and I'm not worried about anything like, oh, I don't know, um, suffocating, it's worth knowing. Now, an inductor. I need metal and plastic, mostly to stop the first voltage surge frying everything else. Steering reel is wrecked. We have some nutrition packages. We have some refined metal, but we don't have any metal and or plastic. Ah, okay, well there's plenty of it back at the main shuttle. So this place is useful, worth knowing about, and as a reminder, I think it was they who sent me the coordinates for it. Ah. I'm starting to wonder if she... I have either completely... Oh, wait, no, that was one of the suit markers, wasn't it? It Babe sent me this, which looks considerably riskier. Considerably riskier. Luckily, I have the chicken to protect me. Just as a reminder, the chicken is immortal, has a s small avian brain, 
and will probably not appreciate me repeatedly using it as a circuit tester. What is this? Okay, well, flying through the electricity seems like a really, really bad idea unless I was in a hurry to try to get that shocking achievement, which I suspect is probably related to flying through the electricity in colossally stupid fashion. Doesn't seem to be another way in. Hmm. Babe, is this in fact just that your latest attempt to get me killed? Or is there something more interesting down here? Fire the fart burner! Actually, no, don't fire the fart burner. Match plus gas would be very, very bad. I will mark it. Okay, what have we got? Ew. Looks like somebody had an unfortunate incident here. You failed to assemble a table consisting of ten parts according to the blueprint. Someone has taken away your title of Master Engineer. How do you even fail this badly? Luckily, we have a scan for a table. One round table. It really was a uh, very simple table indeed. It doesn't even mention electrical tape. How did you manage to get yourself... Oh, never mind. It's probably best not to ask such questions. No good can come of knowing the answer. Okay. Park up here. Swing back to the engineering shuttle. Remember, we need metal and plastic, and that appears to be bubblegum over there. Well, we should be able to find that fairly easily. You'd think the metal and plastic, two of the most common resources in the game, would not be hard to find anywhere. But apparently they are. Oh well. Of such frustrations is the gameplay made in this game. Right, brakes. The shuttle. Enter airlock. Avoid ominous music and imminent death. And then proceed to quickly have a refreshing meal before I die of dehydration. Right. What can I make? Very little of interest. Okay. Metal and plastic. Metal and plastic. That way you can make the inductor, that way you can make the oxygen station, that way you can actually progress. And more to the point, manage not to suffocate horribly in outer space. Now, why is that there? Why is it pink and why does it appear to have vented it explosively into deep space? Hmm. All colossal mysteries to which we must learn the solution. And there's another engineering shuttle over there. Huh. What is this stuff? It appears to be another liner on its mounting bay. Interesting. I... ooh. Um... What exactly happened here? What is this pink stuff? Why does the liner appear to have suffered a sudden and explosive failure due to massive quantities of what I can only presume is bubblegum? Hmm. Mysteries for the ages. Also, uh, the wreck of a perfectly useful space ship. All right, let's go check this shuttle out. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Huzzah! Cooling More oxygen. Detected. Theoretically, the cooling gel can be used to reduce the temperature and activity of the core. That is, if you find a blob large enough that doesn't evaporate before we get to the liner. Ah, so the cooling gel is basically supercooled mayo. That is worth knowing. That might be how we can reduce the radiation. Or at least one method of reducing the radiation. So that we do Apparently, not suffocate. Someone tried to make a cryo chamber out of it to wait for the rescuers. Someone has clearly read a lot of science fiction books. Yes, right. Okay, let's just pop this, fix the oxygen station. There we go. Refill my oxygen and then see what else we've got here. Well, we're not in danger of suffocation. Yoink, done. Right. Scan a soda vending machine. Really, you try to use the soda vending machine's ice maker to make a... Yes, he did. He totally did. The chicken is not going to thank me for that, but a water machine might come in handy. Also, more oxygen candles. Yay. Fine. Let's see. 
I think at this point, the quickest option now might just be... So cooling gel near the hmm. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There is no data about such systems being on the liner unnamed. Right. So why was it transporting so much cooling gel? Also, can we get this cooling gel over to the reactor in order to... Oh yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Okay. The space shuttle got stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. Perfect. I just have to figure out how to launch the shuttle, don't I? I also have to get back to my own shuttle without freezing or suffocating so I can build the inductor. And then I need to get back to this shuttle in order to launch it into the core and thereby reduce the radiation level. Huzzah! Also, that is a very large tank of cooling gel. Also, that is another engineering shuttle. Hooray! And it appears to be an engineering shuttle, more importantly, that Something has a heat lamp. Or someone. In any case, it's impossible to break it. What a surprise. Also, wait, what a pity. Um, hi. Are you of any use to me? I don't know. But we shall attempt to pop this shuttle. Hope this I is wouldn't usable. Touch it having a degree in engineering. If I were you, I wouldn't touch anything, even myself. That's very sound advice, I'm sure, but right now I need to find that uh, shot of heat. Come on, defrost me. There we go, defrosting complete. Now, where was I? Completely disoriented is where I was. There we go, so we have a limited window of opportunity here. We're also running out of oxygen rather rapidly. Okay, so he's not going to break out anytime soon. Let's quickly dive in here before the ice turns to... Oh no, we are defrosting in here, I think. Or at least the situation is not getting any significantly worse. Smash. Oh, the tape. Tape, 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 tape. Excellent, and plastic. Right, that should be everything we need to make the inductor. Hmm. Pop that. Start the engines. Uh... Seems that you still made the engine run, though this has complicated the identification of the deceased. Slightly. Hello. What have we got here? Ah, a toy from the Grumpy's collection. I will have that. Although I do now know how to uh, fire the engines, I'm just not sure that firing them from inside the shuttle, given that I'm about to try to smash one of the other shuttles into a giant ball of radioactive debris known as a formerly known as a reactor core, is a smart thing to do. Also, ideally, I want more underpants. Alright, so, objectives therefore. Build an inductor so I can build an oxygen generator. Fire that shuttle into the core, which may require some extra work, and then build the oxygen generator at the station so that I can get closer to the core proper without suffocating. Being turned into a giant goop of radioactive debris is an entirely separate problem and one I will have to solve entirely separately. Right. Ah, glorious music, how I've missed you. So, use processor. Objects, resources, composite resources, inductor. I need some metal. Metal. Metal, 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 metal. Uh, it's easy just to go back outside, isn't it? There should be a sphere of metal somewhere around here. Ironically, it is actually mostly titanium. Ah, metal! Hooray! One titanium handy scrapper. Brakes. Inventory full. Hmm. That can wait. There we go. Right, we have metal. Back to the shuttle. We actually have more metal than we need, but I'll just store the excess. Hit the brakes so I do not fire myself face first into the airlock, because as we have seen, that is not good for your health. Right, processor. And composite resources, one inductor. Okay, so we now have the components we need to build the oxygen generator at the station, which I think is probably going to be the next thing to do once I've dropped off some of my 
<sighs> we'll drop off some of the nutrition packages. That is stuff I'm not using particularly much of. What I'll also drop off is the poster, the access code, which I totally won't end up needing later on, as well as... Yeah, you know what, we'll just keep that spare scanner for the time being. After all, it couldn't possibly go wrong. And the handy scrapper, well, we can dispose of that fairly easily by the simple expedient of using it instead of the titanium uber scrapper, which has far more durability. It is as tough as approximately three handy scrappers and only requires some slightly rarer materials. Burn! Back to the station. Trundle, 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 trundle. You know, given where we've put the station, or rather where I have put the station, I am wondering if I could make it on a single run from this engineering shuttle if I'm careful with my course and the burners. And if I don't hit the garbage collection box as well, because that would be bad. So, down we go, track over here. And back to the station. You know what, we'll try it. If nothing else, the worst that can happen is that I discover that I am wrong in my estimate, and in fact I am right, because we are doing 30 metres a second unboosted. The station is 1600 metres. That way we have a hundred and something seconds of oxygen. We could, in theory, cover 3000 metres on this current tank. We'll get there with plenty of time to spare. I as usual. Super genius. And if you believe that, I have a bridge I want to sell you. Come on, fire the kebabs. Not literally, flaming shawarma kebabs are not good for your health. Eh? Not least because to the dubious nutritional content and food hygiene, you will add third degree burns of your mouth. 800 meters. Come on, come on, come on. I would say I need a faster recharge on my accelerator, but I do not need the increased gastrointestinal distress, thank you very much. Also, it is on the other side of this asteroid, but hmm, we can always explore this on, on the way. Activate torch. I may already have cleared this place out, and in fact I think I did on another trip. Oh well. At least there is some metal out here if I do need to go scavenging. And if nothing else, it is centrally located and properly positioned for a further jumping off point to the Normandy. Which absolutely will not turn out to be a horrible trap that will lead to my imminent and unsightly demise from radiation and various other problems. So, pop the builder. I want module... No, I don't. I want compartments. I want an oxygen generator. And I should remember that I also required aluminium and titanium to actually build said generator. I should probably have checked the parts list before I came out here. Alright, so I am pleased to announce that I now have all the parts required, I think, to build the oxygen uh, station. There we go, one oxygen generator. Inductor, aluminium. There we are. Yoink! Done. Okay, now I need to build a power generator. I see data that I'm not sure it's not your fault, you're not doing something, I'm not getting your opportunity, you not want to blow us all up. No, 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 it's not my fault at all, babe. I just need to build a power generator, for which I need more titanium. Hmm. Well, we should be able to get that hopefully fairly nearby. I didn't bring quite enough with me. Hmm, titanium. Spiky balls of titanium, where are you? Nowhere nearby, that appears to be unfortunate. Also, by astounding coincidence, it appears I have actually got a more or less straight route back to the primary engineering shuttle going around the asteroid instead, which is a most convenient discovery and totally not something I actually planned. What, you didn't think I'm capable of working it that far ahead, did you? No? Good, I'm glad we understand each other. So, back to acquire some titanium. And I suspect I'm also going to need to do things like a research table and maybe a processor as well, although... Uh, we'll see. Anyhow, forwards! 
We must acquire parts. We must acquire material. We must acquire random place that I apparently went to before and plonked an oxygen station in while I looted it dry. Oh yes, this is the great explosives factory, isn't it? And totally not full of, um... Yeah, where's the beef? Such things would probably not be discussed. Also, there's a battery here, which is useful. There's some plastic here, which has come in on useful on occasion, not to mention wiring, which I have tons of. Resin, which I do not have tons of and actually need. So let's quickly pop the grabber. And do I have a grabber? Yes, I have a grabber. Four. Don't have much left of it, but exit the vehicle. Extract the resin. There we go, inventory full. Okay, because, again, I've kind of run my fuel supply a bit low. So, back to the bike. And then, we'll just take advantage of the station, I think. This is why I am not necessarily dismantling these as I go. Having the emergency reserve does come in handy every now and again if you need to stop and properly scrap an area. Of course, a movable permanent oxygen station in the shape of, oh, I don't know, the space car, Elon, eat your heart out, will hopefully solve that problem quite considerably. It will doubtless introduce an entirely new set of problems, such as a permanent diminishing fuel supply to run said oxygen generator, but hey, who am I to complain? At least I won't have the old problems anymore. Unless new problems turn out to be worse than the old problems, in which case I can just leave the car parked on an asteroid and go merrily back to the old problems with no further concern except my conscience for polluting the environment in some immeasurably tiny fashion, and of course, guilt over the wasted materials. Unless I scrapped, in which case I would maybe have to worry about the residual pollution from the resources I did not usefully salvage and are therefore still floating around in space, forming the core of a great interstellar garbage patch, which doubtless I will attract the ire of space environmentalists several thousand years later. Or possibly some really, really puzzled archaeologists. Either is definitely a case. Right, titanium. Oh wait, no, the inventory's full, isn't it? Excuse me. We'll just use the personal uh, propulsion system, which is so much nicer than calling it what it actually is, and thereby get myself back to the station. So, chop some food, chop some water. Uh, you know what? I should probably dump those oxygen candles as well. Right, processors. Is there anything I can usefully make while I'm here? Well, there is the crap imposed by the developers, but such things are not required. Right. Stash resources. We shall leave the auction station. We'll dump a couple of the candles. The generator, because I don't actually know how to do that upgrade yet. And I also need to get some metal out so I can make some more fuel for the bike. Also, dump off the electrical tape and the rubber because I may not actually need that at the moment. So, use processor. I want equipment items. Fuel! Yay, fuel! Still not sure where the explosives come into it, but hey, I'm sure we will get our answer eventually. Right, let's head back outside. Tank up the bike, grab some more titanium, build the power generator, making sure I have all the materials this time, and then proceed back to the station to bring it fully online. I don't think the designers anticipated me having the communications module when I did. Right, fill her up. Fill her up again. Yay, 99% fuel. Also, I have cleared some inventory space. Further hoorays. Here we go, titanium, 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 uh, titanium, yay, titanium, 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 I think we have as much titanium as I'm going to immediately need, so let us carefully check this and grab some more titanium just to be safe. 
Right, um, pop the builder. Check I've got this. Compartment, power generator. Right, I need to actually go and get the generator. By the way, you need a power generator to make a power generator module. Who the fuck? So, back inside. Grab my generator. There we go. And I'll also grab one of the oxygen uh, generator charge packs, which I left around here. So, oh no, I'm still carrying them. Perfect. Because if I go back via the beef storage, that generator, by well, that storage now as it really is, was running a little bit low. So I can tank that up along the way. So, pop generator. Check I have what I need. Compartments. Power generator. Perfect. Could be something from physics force. It supplies the station with power. And I can now effectively use many, many things. Improved communications works. Corridor airlock is done. Interphone. Plastic and somehow built a kinetron. Also, I could usefully do a research table. Ah. Okay, that's worth investigating. So, if, let's, while we're here, build up an interphone and a kinetron. Well, a research table, which I need a kinetron. Module time! Wait, no, not module time. Processor time. Resources. Uh, equipment, tools, items. Nope. Objects. Containers, stations. Nope. Resources, composites. Aha! Kinotron. I need glass. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't pay that much attention in electronics either. Also, where am I going to get glass from? That's not the most plentiful resource. I mean, there's plenty of it around, starting with, well, this, but that's not really usable. Glass, 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 glass. I'm going to need to find some glass. Was there some back in Chapter 1's area that I never used? Hard to be sure. However, without it, I cannot build the interphone, and therefore there will be a problem. However, in the bright side, I could try and make some more thick electrical tape and get some resin, as well as pick up the remainder of my stock of aluminium, and therefore build a research table on the fly. I detect Cinderajin, main thing is to stay close to anti-asteroid turret, which is also totally not anti-me turret. Yes, babe, I'm thinking I don't believe you for one instant on that. But thank you for telling me about it anyway, I'm sure it will come in moderate use at some future point. Also, I should probably make myself some more water just to be safe. Right, so, stock of aluminium, stock of resin and electrical tape. Do I have some more rubber? That is a very good question. I do not think I have enough rubber to make research table yet. However, I do have enough water to make water. Or rather, I have enough ice to make water, although water is water and yeah, you know what I mean. Keep dismantling this stuff. And there we go. Thirst is further averted. Inventory yet. space is a little more curious. Okay. Right, so, quick check on the module again. Power generator is fine. So that required two aluminium, two titanium, and a generator. Then the research table will require three aluminium, two resin, and two electrical tape. And I have just enough aluminium to make the stick, but I do need the electrical tape, for which I need either rotor or more electrical tape. Neither of which I have in any great supply at the moment. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at the shuttle I need to activate instead, because not only will that reduce the radiation level and hopefully make being in the base moderately less hazardous to my chances of eventual future offspring, or at least for eventual future offspring without varying crippling conditions, it will also get me one step closer to being home, and it's here anyway, so I might as well do it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong from pushing the activation button on an engine while I'm still in the shuttle, intending to launch that shuttle on a suicide port? Oh, that would be what the problem was, wouldn't it? Alright, so swing pass here.
remain cognizant of the fact that there is in fact a freezing danger here, so I'm going to very rapidly push past here and then realize that I'm still slowly freezing. The brakes just briefly. Oh, we have a uh, little action figurine here. Examine him, the Marty Wobbly Toy. He even got a toy. Oh, maybe I should read books. Yes, maybe. Uh, break container. Please let there be electrical tape and or rubber in this container. That would be most useful, random number gods. Come on. Fabric and wire. That is somewhat less useful, random number gods. But thank you anyway. Is there anything else to salvage in this shuttle wreck? Doesn't look like it, but there is a handy heat source. Which will give me what I need to avoid freezing and thereby... Yeah. Avoid freezing and thereby get close to, well, let's be honest here, not a great deal, but we can start with the shuttlecraft that is meant to boost me into the core, which is over there. Okay, so thinky, 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 we shall sit on bike, we shall maneuver bike to defrosting point, we shall point bike at burn target, because the moment I leave the freezing area, this will start icing over my viewplate. We shall pop an oxygen candle because suffocation is bad, and then we shall go, 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 go. I was hoping to see a standard pleasure shuttle, but this is an old design cargo ship. You can still occasionally find such ships on distant planets. They work on biofuel, and there is no way they were on the liner. This technology is outdated, so it's highly improbable that this debris belongs to the liner. Robotics so, so we hit something. Such ships were produced. The engines look intact. A fuel tank I... with no fuel inside. To start yes. the engines, you have to find some fuel, fill the tank, and hack the control system of the ship. External control system. Only old ships have these. I can hack it in a split second. Hooray! However, that does not solve the fuel problem. On the bright side, I can make fuel. If I hadn't just poured several gallons of it into my bike, can I siphon it out? No, not really. Hmm. Load beef pellets. Well, we know where we can get beef. Ah, this is actually working out quite nicely. I'm not sure quite why the shuttle is being fueled off beef, but, well, such things are best not considered too closely. Also, I should pick a random vector and just fly into space, because this cannot possibly result in my death from oxygen starvation and or freezing and or dehydration. I should probably have put an autopilot marker at the area where the uh, handy, handy, heat source was, but theoretically if I fly far enough away, I will be away from the cooling gel and then my shuttle, or rather my viewplate, will defrost and clear itself. Alright, so, where are we? There's the shuttle pod, there's the engineering shuttle, there's something of interest. Hey, you know, let's go and check that out. I still have plenty of candles and I need to head in approximately that direction to get to the beef anyway. In fact, ah, that I think is the beef. I'm just not sure quite where I'm going to get beef pellets, because while I have references to cans of shit, literally, um, well, possibly not literally. No, that's not it. Where is, where is, where is, oh, you know what, we'll just pop another oxygen candle and check this out, then we'll get our bearings back and try to find, oh, it's over there. Right. Okay. Check this. Pop oxygen candle. Let's say no to ominous music and also suffocation. Now, what are you? Why is there also a Texan hat thing here? Ah. Okay, you look interesting. Also, I'm going to need cans. Well, I don't need metal. I just need beef pellets, really. What have we got? Hmm. A monitoring station. Interesting. Can I get close enough to use monitoring station? No. Interesting, but ultimately rather useless. Also, nom, nom, and then grab replacement water. Also make note of fact that there are some limited deposits of basic metal here. So, having wasted much oxygen and fuel in getting to this place, I am instead heading back to what I'm pretty sure is the best source we have for beef. 
We also still need to find some glass because I need to go back to Kyotron to get the interphone up and running in the station rather than having to keep going back to the liner cabin and deal with those two corpses, who, if I am completely honest, are probably starting to pong a bit, but I can't smell it inside the station, so I don't know why I'm complaining anyway. Right. There we go. So, dismount. Fill oxygen tank. And charge station. Now, let us begin looking for a can of expired beef pellets. This is going to be a phenomenally shitty job, isn't it? You know, I don't think I actually have to be in date and fit for human consumption to be used in a uh, beef tank, do they? Well, we're going to find out. Synthetic manure. Can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow, not even with electrical tape. I know it's shocking, isn't it? Luckily, we also have the recipe for beef pellets. Also, can of beef. Please be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. Really? I am um, right. Okay, that's uh, worth knowing. Looks like uh, Dynamite Bourguignon is back on the menu, boys. Meat, however, is still very definitely off it. Well, we have a light bulb. Do we actually have some glass? Not sure. Anyhow, let us hoover up the synthetic manure. Really, game? Really? Yikes. Ugh. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not something that's going to be readily salvageable, is it? Okay, and then we have our unfortunate friend who I think was trying to... Oh yes, the explosives. Don't worry my friend, your cause and contribution to science, and also the study of explosive limb injuries, yikes, will be remembered. You, however, will probably not be because I have no idea who actually were in the first place. Aha, the new pellet. Why I am suddenly enthusiastic about getting hold of artificial shit is anyone's best guess, but hey, what the game requires, the game requires. I just wish it didn't require quite so much of it. I think we've hoovered up as much as we're going to reasonably get here. Although there is another can of beef there, so oh, that is enough to make some explosives. Hmm. Well, we have enough to be starting with, experimenting with both the beef grenade and the regular beef demolition charge. So, quickly retank the oxygen. I'm not going to burn too much, just 90 seconds or so, because that should be enough for me to get back to the primary engineering shuttle. And from there we can construct, well, the pellets that we need to fuel the old-timey shuttle and then send the shuttle plus its attached cargo of cooling gel into the reactor to reduce the radiation level. What? This makes perfect sense. To somebody. 